Okay, hello and welcome to beautiful Roswell High School. This is Brian Zwerner here with Kim Coleman at the Halftime Sports Georgia Hoops Invitational. Kim, we're excited for the start of this game here between Triple Double in white and the Roswell Bombers in Navy. What do you expect in this game? Brian, this is going to be a, a fast-paced, high-action, high-volume game. Both teams have extreme talent, have good size uh, at the post, very good guard play. I, I really think the difference of the team, <laughs> before we get hit over here, uh, the difference of this game is triple doubles press. They like to throw a diamond press at their opponents. They get a lot of easy buckets out of their pressure. Here goes triple double setting up at the top, working it around to the right wing. Mullis working it back, working it back around to the corner. Mullis passes up to free in the corner, swings it over to the wing. Three-pointer up and away, and it's good. That's a three-pointer to start there. We got number two. Thacker with a three. Thacker had 20 points in a game earlier, Kim. It looks like he's one of their hot shooters. Brian, he uh, he comes from a basketball background. His dad is actually the, the head coach and also coaches in the uh, halftime sports U.S. basketball games, uh, Team Georgia. So he's he, he knows he's been around basketball for quite a while. Roswell Bombers Harper, Hopper driving. Working the ball along the baseline there is uh, Pittman. Pittman swinging it out. Pittman, one of their top scorers, trying to get the ball inside. Not able to do it. Stolen, taken away. There goes Thacker again. It's up, and it's good. That's his fifth point already in this short game. 5-0 with 5.55 remaining in the first. That press gets set back up again. Bombers break it. Moving ahead into the front court is Porter. Porter works it down low. Shots up, and it's good for Sochu. That's his first bucket of the game. 5-2 to two with 5.40 left. He is great with body control down low. Great body control down low. He's able to score and get hit at the same time. Working the ball over to Underwood on the wing. Back to Underwood. Defense all over him, and there's our first. Oh, no, it's a travel. I thought we were about to get our first foul call of the game, but that is a traveling call. We're going the other way, Roswell. Bombers down 2-5 to five with 5.24 left. This allows the triple-double to set up their press again. It's been devastating all weekend. They beat this Roswell Bombers team in the, in the bracket play 61-33. Bombers are going to have to keep this close, keep, keep from getting blown out. Here comes a shot in the corner. Nope, passes it up. Wheeling around the top is Mullis. Mullis over to Underwood. Underwood's going to fire from three, mm. and it's good. <laughs> that, is, that is the key right there. For The, the Bombers are going to have to contest those three-point shots because triple-double, they will hit threes on you all day. All day, Brian. Triple-double, another steal. And there goes Thacker again. Thacker back to Underwood. Oh, Underwood with the easy oh, layup. The timeout, coach. And that's there the first time out there. We got 10 to 2 with 4.42 left. Triple Double's been blazing through this tournament, Kim. They won all four games by pretty hefty margins 52 24 over the Georgia Mavs, 37 25 over the Wolverines. A win earlier in, reg in bracket play, 61 33, sorry, in, uh, in pool play. And then a blowout win in the semis, 47 12. They've been the runaway team so far in the sixth grade division. This team by far is one of the, the best coach teams in the state of Georgia. Um, a, a lot of what they do, which is kind of unusual for many teams at this age level, is they execute. They execute their offense. They execute their defense. They crash and they shoot the ball. As you see uh, early on, they shoot the ball from the perimeter very well. Yeah, two three-pointers already. They've taken two. They've made two. One for Thacker, one for Underwood here to start the game. And this lets them set up the press yet again. The Bombers have really struggled to get into the front court and get their offense going. Number two, Hopper bringing it up, throwing it up to the big man. Porter in a little bit of trouble over there. Back up to the top to, to uh, Hopper. Brings it around inside. Sochu misses the bucket. No good. And we are going the other way. Fast break again. It's been tough for them all all game so far. Mullis pulls it back out. He's going to reset to Underwood on the wing. Underwood looks at the three, passes it up. Trying to get the ball inside to his big man down low. That's Cunningham. No good. Rebound to the Bombers, and this should give him a little chance. No, uh, no chance no to chance set up. I thought all. that was going to be it. But uh, Mullis with another steal. He's got about two or three here in the early going. 4-0, remaining 10-2. Lead for Triple Double in white versus the Roswell Bombers in black. And, Brian, that's what uh, Triple Double likes to do to you. They don't want you to sit up in their half-court offense. They want to disrupt you 84 feet. Underwood inside to Cunningham. Cunningham gets a point-blank look at the rim. Not able to get it to fall. Sochu out. Trying to get some offense going here. He's got their only two points so far in the game. Pittman's going to set it up at the top. 
what Roswell needs. They, Pittman really needs to get going here. He hits this three. He, Pittman with the three right on he, cue, KC. Pittman. Just what you asked for. It's that, 10 to 5 now, 3.30 left in the first. That is exactly what the doctor ordered up, and that's what Coach Kranz needs. He needs a big game out of Pittman for them to – to stay close with this triple-double team. Yeah, Pittman had a good game, number of good games earlier in the tournament. Porter, number 34, the big man in the middle with the big hair, had 17 <laughs> in an earlier game today. Uh, sorry, earlier in, in bracket play, pool play, sorry. Cunningham that's fighting a, for it inside. Rebound. And not going to fall. He's going to go to the free throw line, though. That's what you call a big boy rebound right there, Brian. Yeah, they're going to have to get Porter on him if they're going to be able to uh, keep him out of the paint. He's gotten, that's his third close look at the basket. Let's see if he can knock these free throws down. 10 to 5, 319 remaining, triple double here in white. And that's good. Make that 11 5 now. Substitutions. Uh, Mullis coming out for triple double. He's been a steel machine for them in the early going here. Let's see if number 30 Jones can bring the same kind of defensive intensity. And what this does allow while they're at the free throw line, this allows them to set up in their, in their intense, crazy, controlled chaos type pressure. Here it comes again. They've been using uh, Porter, the big man, to break the press. Oh, it's going to stay, uh, stay Roswell Bombers. They've been trying to advance the ball with uh, Pittman and Hopper and then getting it to Porter to really move the ball up, the, up into the front court and get the offense going. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. I mean, Porter is one of the taller kids actually in the gymnasium right now, but he's got to come more towards the ball. And once he catches it, those guards got to fly. He's got to hit those guards on the fly, on the wing. Struggling to get the ball in. Bombers get the ball in, looking to get it back to Hopper so he can push it up the floor. He's got Porter in the middle if he wants him. A little bit too late, and now Cunningham recovers. This, this triple-double defense, man-to-man, -man, again, a good man-to-man -man defense looks like a zone defense. You've got help side. You've got help on the, on the strong side. Their defense is just tenacious. Roswell Bombers struggling. struggling to find good shots here, good opportunities, dribbling too far from the basket, not really in shooting position, unable to get the ball inside to their big man, Porter, you here. Everything is, is Long in shot away, three-pointer no good for Thomas. Right now, Roswell has not gotten the ball inside. They got it inside one time earlier. I uh, got an and one, but they're going to have to be more patient and, and execute better on the offensive end. Three-pointer up and away, no good for Bell. Coach described him as one of their better sharpshooters, so expect we'll up. see more shots out of him as the game uh, advances. Sorry, check that. That was Jones with the uh, missed three there. Unfortunately, right now, they're not even looking down low for the big man. Everything is around the three-point line, three-point line. High Hopper attacking, through. driving, gets into Cunningham, I think, with the foul there. They're going to get, no, looks like uh, call goes against zero Underwood. Hopper's going to get to the line. We got 12 to 5, triple double with 204 remaining here in the first. Triple double in white, Roswell Bombers in black. First free throw up and away. Violation. Lane violation. Lane violation lane on the violation. first free throw. Can't no be, reason to be doing can't, that. Kids are too old to be getting lane, lane violations <laughs> at this age. Maybe in the third grade and the fourth grade group, yeah, but at the sixth grade level, they, they really Second should. free throw up and away for Hopper, and that one is good. We oh. got 12 to 6 now, 204 remaining. Here comes back Pittman. Pittman's got a nice long three for the uh, Roswell Bombers. Uh, Again, they're going to need more green out of Pittman, and he's going to have to attack the basket a lot more than what he's doing right now. These corner threes have been open all game so far. Oh, oh. nice attempt to steal. Oh. There go. Oh, loose ball, and it stays with Underwood. Back to the corner. Jones fires for three, and it's no good. Offensive rebound. Back out to Thacker. Thacker. Three ball away. No good there. Another offensive rebound. That's the third one on this trip. Sorry, second. And Thacker's going to reset the offense. Not in a rush here. Z Thacker may be the smallest kid out there, but he's definitely one of the most aggressive. Here we go, working it inside to Cunningham. Nice drop step move, but Ooh. doesn't find the basket. Might have been disrupted a bit by Porter there. This Pitt is the kid they need to get going right here, Z. They, Pittman's they taken one shot, and he's hit one shot. So let's see if he can get in a couple more opportunities. They are face guarding him a long way for the basket. And that's timeout. Off. What was that? Timeout? Roswell? Five yeah, seven. timeout Roswell. Roswell coach not liking that uh, tight defense on Pittman so far for the basket. He's going to have to start setting some high on ball screens for Pittman. Oh, not a timeout. That was a turnover. That was a five-second violation. Oh, goodness. There you go. I didn't see that one wow. being called. 
Not used to that. Don't get that a lot at the high school level, but down here at middle school ball, anything can be happen here. Just Thacker Thacker. fires for three from the corner, and that one is good. Does he that has, surprise you? Does that surprise you, Z? He has been wide open, and he is knocking him down. That's his eighth point of the early going, 15-5, to five, with 101 remaining here in the first quarter. Thacker's been hot. He's made all three of his buckets, two threes and a two. Other leading scorers on the floor, number zero, Underwood. Underwood had 18 points in an earlier game. Thacker had 20. Looks like they're on pace for that and more. <laughs> and uh, Roswell Bombers really struggling to get the ball in, inside the paint. They've been turning it over above the three-point line. Yeah. Again, Coach Kranz is going to have to draw up some type of offensive plays where Pittman is going to have to come off those high ball screens because if they just – uh, flattened out the, the players and try to let him go one-on-one. -on -one. They have triple-double has too many bigs in the paint for him, and they're going to stay around the perimeter. Yeah, they've been harassing him uh, well above the three-point line, and, and it's led to a number of turnovers and easy buckets the other way. Uh, they haven't really played much through Porter, biggest player they've got. Cunningham's on the bench a little bit now. Let's see if Porter can go to work. And they're going to get him for riding him up the uh, sideline there. 15-5, to the five, one. 57 seconds remaining in the first. That is one of the more common fouls at this age group. Yeah, we've got three foul calls against a very aggressive uh, triple-double team on defense. None yet against the uh, Roswell Bombers. Pittman works the ball into the there corner, and go. right on cue, there goes uh, Porter. He misses his first bucket, but I like them working right through him down low, especially with Cunningham getting a break. Porter's got the size advantage over number 13, Kerouac, right now. Ball That's swings nice. to the corner, three-pointer up and nice. away, and that is good for Jones. See how... That is such beautiful offense. What Thacker did was he drew in the defense, kicked it out to the to the corner shooter, bang, for three. That yeah, this triple-double team well coached, plays very disciplined, and getting a lot of open looks. Three-pointer up and away for Pittman, no good. He's Rebound, gonna, and we're going the other way. Pittman's going to have to get to the basket. He's got the size and the body to do that. He's just got to get to the basket. Underwood with a nice look at it. Doesn't get that to fall. That's his first miss of the night. He's got five. Pittman driving, attacking. Go. Got oh. a nice look. Beautiful no-look pass. And that doesn't fall. And the shot is... They're going to count it. Okay. For number 35, that is Sochu, his fourth point. Unable to convert on the beautiful no-look pass by Pittman. Pittman's able to get into the paint. We need to see more of that, I think, if we're going to see this game stay competitive. You see, for, for Roswell to stay in the game, Pittman's going to have to be more aggressively offensively and on the defensive end as well. But as you see, once he gets to the basket, he has the ability to dish, kick, or even go up for a strong layup. 18 to 7 here at the end of the first period. Sixth grade championship game from the Halftime Sports Georgia Hoops Invitational presented to you by Sportal Space from beautiful Roswell High School. It's been a great weekend over here at Roswell. We've had games here at Roswell High. I've also seen some of the games over at Etowah High School. Appreciate the support from both of those local schools for these youth teams. It, it's been a fantastic weekend. The, uh, the fifth grade championship just finished up with the KG Superstars defeating the East Cobb. Uh, playmakers uh, in their championship, 39-18. Uh, to 18. Uh, That KG Superstars team, uh, first time having them in our event, they are loaded with talent, lots of talent. And we're about to throw in here, it's 18-7, to triple-double with the lead over Roswell Bombers. Pittman works the ball into the corner, three-pointer up and away. Oh, and it just rims out for James. Rebound goes to Kerouac, and we're going up the floor. Underwood's been real aggressive. Underwood and Thacker leading the scoring here so far for triple-double. Thacker with eight, Underwood with five. A couple other players in the books. Kerouac trying to work down low. Oh, good move, good move. Ooh. Nice strong move and draws the foul on Porter. Good strong take to the basket. Looked like he had a good chance to get the uh, the, the two-pointer and one. He's Doesn't a, fall. He's a very strong fundamental basketball player. Still working on his skill sets, um, kind of growing into his body. Nice height and length on uh, Kerouac. This is the first, but a nice stroke. Second free throw coming up here, 18 to seven, 637 remaining in the second quarter. Triple double in white leading the Roswell Bombers in black. And by the way, if you take a look at his feet, you can see he is gonna be huge. I wear a uh, 13, Kim, and his looks about as big as mine. <laughs> Kerouac gets the uh, the first free throw, second free throw to fall here. 19 to seven, 6.35 remaining. There we Work go. it inside to low. Porter, inside out game work. Nice. Swings nice. it around, nice. back inside to Sochu. He's tied up, swings it out to Pittman. Pittman, three-pointer, no good. Ball bounces That's around tough. and it's out. That's tough, however, that was the first possession they've had this half. 
Z, that they've been able to move the ball, swing it from left to right. Yeah, they've been working it. Uh, Sochu and Porter down low, and the offense seems a lot better here. Tried a little bit of a press. Looked like a travel to me. Yeah, ref's going to call that one. They give you a little leeway at the sixth grade level, but not quite that much. So that's going to go the other way. Should have gave him some luggage with that one, Z. I like Roswell switching it up, coming out with the press here to start the second quarter. It is 19-7 with 6.09 remaining in the second. Pittman's been the primary ball handler, swings it to the outside. Ball is up and away for James. It's no good. Look how they run the court. Thacker the passes court. up the three, works the two-man game to Underwood. Underwood scoop Open and under. oh, it just falls out. <laughs> Nice little scoop move, that stepped through the defense, caught the foul call, but couldn't quite get the, uh, the bouncer is, to fall. Most high school players can't do that up and under move. <laughs> Absolutely, that ball touched about six parts of the rim before finding its way out, unfortunately. Uh, Underwood first free throw is up and away, and it's good. He's got six so far on the night. I would expect we'll see triple-double roll right back into this press that's yes. been so strong for them. It's created a lot of havoc. It's uh, led Pittman to give the ball up too early in possessions, and the Bombers really haven't been able to find their offense as a result. This kid, Underwood, is very underrated, very underrated. Fantastic shooter, just knows the game. Um, high IQ on the court. Seven points for Underwood so far to start the game. He scored it every way, two at the free throw line, two the, the old-fashioned way, and a three ball. You notice they're starting to pick up Pittman more at the half court level, starting to put more ball pressure on him. Yeah, tried to work the ball into Sochu down low on the block. He's got four points already for the Bombers, but uh, not able to corral that one. I uh, liked when they've been trying to work both sides of the block, Sochu on the left block and uh, Porter on the right. That this shot's a little Rockwell's too strong. This is what going to have to do, Brian. They're going to have to get the ball and run. They cannot allow triple double to set up in their full court press or their half court press. Oh, called the carry. Another call we don't see very often. Is Allen Anderson <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the gym? Oh, my goodness. I've seen that on the call. 21 to 7, 532 remaining. Roswell showed a little bit of press but pulled it back off. They're going to pick him up here in half court. Half court's been a problem. Triple double, very strong uh, offensive rotation of the ball, uh, beginning wide open looks. Oh. That one got away from him. Wow, <laughs> wow. And I think what Roswell, what Coach Kranz is going to have to do a little bit more is he's going to have to mix up his defenses a lot more. He's going to have to throw a 2-3, two, a 1-2-2, two, two, even a, a matchup zone uh, to try to get Thacker and triple-double offense. Yeah, triple-double's been getting a really great discipline ball movement, and they've been getting wide-open threes. They've managed to put down uh, four threes so far in the first quarter. They're up 21-7 to with 5.03 remaining. Three-pointer up and away. Back rim for Hopper. No good. Comes out to Pittman. Pittman's going to try to create some offense here. They're throwing double teams at him pretty much every time he puts the ball on the floor, though. Pittman Nothing inside. They're going to have to get that ball into Porter if they can get better looks. Floater in the lane. No good. And they are off on the fast break. It's Jensen ahead of the break. Let's see if he can corral it. Inside to Kerouac. Kerouac ducks under the defender. No good. Offensive rebound. Works it back out. Tries to get it to Underwood. Not going to go. And that is... Pittman trying to force the action. Gets another foul call. That's the fifth foul call. Possibly the sixth. I actually like Six that. Six foul call. I like that, though, Brian. they got to get the ball and go. They cannot allow triple-double to set up in their half-court defense. Their defense is too fundamentally sound right now for Roswell to execute any type of offense. They've got to start running more. Ball out top to Hopper. Hopper sizing up the defense. He's going to try to penetrate. It's not there for him. Swings the ball over to Sherman. Sherman back to Hopper. 4-18 remaining. 21-7. The lead for triple-double. Hopper sticks with it, can't get the first, covers the go. ball, puts it back up, but we're running again, and it's Jensen ahead of the break. Jensen tries oh, to get it to go, no good. Rebound goes to Underwood, and he can't get it to fall either. And they're going to get him for riding him again. That's this has a been a take. consistent problem for triple-double. They're putting too much body into the guys along the uh, sideline as they're running up the court. I'm sure they're going to get an uh, earful from Coach Stacker. He doesn't teach that type of defense in their practices, I can tell you that. But I do like what, what Coach Kranz is doing. He's got his team getting the rebound and just pushing the ball up to the court and tacking the triple-double defense. Hopper to inbound for Roswell Bombers in black. Struggling to get it in. Brings it over to Kranz. Kranz being tightly guarded again. A lot of contact. Still playing him very high. Oh, and we got a three ball coming from the corner. Up and away, and it's no good for Hopper. That's a rebound. And we look are out and running ball. again. Oh, Thacker. Oh, 
with another bucket. That's his 10th point. He's made all four of his shots so far this game. He just doesn't miss, Brian. He just does not miss. Everything about him is fundamentally sound. Again, he may be the smallest kid out there, but the highest IQ on the court. Okay, he's in the right place all the time. Uh, tightly guarding Hopper is Thacker. Hopper tries to get it inside. Cunningham with the steal. And triple double's going to look to run. They, uh, they've done it consistently all game, and they're not going to stop here. Haynes works it inside to Cunningham. Cunningham with a nice drop step. Oh, nice finds his three-point shooter in the corner. Ball is up and away, and it's no good there. They have to push the ball. Cannot let triple double set up here. Bell with the missed three, trying to get it inside. Porter good with move, a nice move underneath move. Cunningham. That's a good move. Did you see some arm there? I didn't bit, know. I, I, <laughs> might have been more body than anything. There we go. Um, Porter with a nice move. They've got to use him more. He's only gotten one shot so far this game, no points yet, and uh, they're going to need him. He had 17 in an earlier win for them. Uh, if they can't find a way to get the ball into his hands, they're, they're spending too much time on the perimeter. Yes, they're being I tightly agree. guarded out there, getting turnovers and bad shots. They've yeah. got to work the ball in through Porter if they're going to they get may, anything they going They may want to start working him around the high post, having the, him coming up to the high post area, catching the ball, pump fake, and getting to the rim a little bit more. It's 23 to 8. Triple double and white leading the Roswell Bombers in black with 3.05 remaining in the second in this sixth grade championship here. He's got a very nice stroke. Very nice stroke. That is two points for Porter. 23 9 now. Triple double not phased in any way. They're going to run. They run all the time. Cunningham, nice move inside. Gets his own rebound. Can't get it to fall. Gets his rebound a second time. A third time for Cunningham. A fourth time for Cunningham. He is not done yet. He is still battling down low. That is pure hustle right there, Brian. Pure hustle. I like that. I like that. Porter is going to have to get in there and mix it up somehow. <laughs> They're going to have to put a body on the kid. They're going to have to put a body on him and not just turn and try to box, but turn, drive, box him out, and drive him back. 2.48 remaining here in the second quarter of the sixth grade championship. 23-9. to Triple-double and white leading the Roswell Bombers in black. Pittman has been uh, mostly the catalyst for the offense, trying to get something going here. Another hand check foul. Triple double been a little too aggressive. Yeah, uh, surprise Thacker not calling him <laughs> off a little bit here. That's yeah. going to send uh, Pittman to the line for one and one, I believe. Yes, yes. Well, uh, maybe yep, not. one and one. There we go. They got two minutes and 37 seconds here in the bonus. Lynn, as aggressive as triple double's been, I don't see him backing off. Uh, Bombers are going to have to make him pay at the free throw line for this. The only thing that they could possibly do right now is try to get points with the clock not moving. That, Pittman well, front rim on that one, there. not going to fall. Rebound. And guess who again? It's Thacker. He has been all over the court, leading the break. He's got 10 points so far. Passed up the open three, works it down to the baseline. Good shot, won't go. Gets his own rebound is Haynes. And he'll go to the free throw line. Right now, they're just out hustling triple um, the Roswell Bombers on the offensive boards. Yeah, these two teams faced in pool play. It was 61 to 33. And I have to honestly say, that is the very first time I've seen the Roswell Bombers play that poorly. They, yeah. are, they are a very skilled team. Coach Krantz does a fantastic job with with the team. They've been three and one on the weekend with wins over the Georgia Mavs, the Wolverines, and then the Wolverines again. They had two tight contests with the Wolverines, 44-42 in pool play, 45-40 in the semis. Roswell Bombers capable of putting points on the board, but not against this defense. Easy steal, breakaway, and the bucket is good for Bell. That's his first points of the night. 26 to nine, 206 remaining in the second. Coach Krantz is really going to have to uh, get his boys motivated at halftime. Pittman driving, trying to find something here. Working the ball inside and a nice little shot in the mid-range for Pittman. That's he, his fifth point. That is something that he needed. Coach Krantz is going to need Pittman to really start taking over this game for Roswell to get back. There we are, right on cue. There's Pittman with the steal. Pittman taking it up the right wing. Pittman driving, steps back, jump shot, no good. Rebound goes to James. James swings it around, back to Pittman. Pittman fires for three. Front rim, no good. Sochi with the rebound. Oh. Loses the ball underneath. That was a big possession. They could have hit that bucket. That would have given them a little momentum. Dacker working it inside. Kerouac, nice little turn wow. and shot. Wow. And he is in the books. That's his third point of the game. That's a nice shot. That is a nice shot by the big fella. Yeah, with uh, Porter on the bench getting a breather for the Bombers. No inside presence. No. Sochu having to guard a guy a couple good solid inches taller than him. Pittman trying to work the ball around out top. 
Thomas inside to Sochu, over to the shooter. Brady. And it's shot. good. That's, That's Krantz with shot. the three. That's that was much needed. 28-14 with 50 seconds left. Brady can do that. He can stand out there. He can hit those threes for the Bombers. Kerouac misses. Rebound inside. Uh, ball bouncing around. Not going to go. So that was Kerouac and Bell playing catch over the top of the basket. Neither of them could get it to fall. See, the problem is with the Bombers right now, they're putting a body on the big kids, but they're not driving them back, boxing out. So the big kids are just reaching over, grabbing offensive rebounds. That one they called over the back. So we're going to get free throws for Sochu. 38 seconds left here. 28-14. Triple-double in white leading the Roswell Bombers in black. As you said earlier, Kim, they got to get points when the clock's not moving. These three throws critical right now. That's the first one falls. Sochu leads the, uh, is now tied for the lead in scoring with five, tied with Pittman, who also has five for the Bombers. Z, if they get this game within or at 10. And he rattles it in. We, we, could have a, we could have a ball game. 28-16, it's a 12-point game. It's gonna, if I'm Coach Thacker, I'm looking at the younger Thacker here. He's been a beast tonight so far. Underwood with a nice shot. Cunningham just reaches right over the top and takes the rebound, chance but can't get 10. it to fall. Chance to cut it to 10 here, and that's going to be another go. foul. They're going to go right back to the free throw line. That will be number 11, Thomas, going to the line. Cunningham has been able to do whatever he wants underneath the basket, but he can't manage to get these uh, short shots to fall. He's missed he's, four he's, in a row down he's low. He's struggling to convert right now. Um, but like we said earlier, the Bombers, they want to score points with no, to no time ticking off. They could possibly cut this to a 10-point game by halftime. These free throws critical, 23 seconds remaining, 28 to 16 here in the second quarter. Triple-double in white. First free throw is up. And it's no good. Cunningham snags yet another rebound. He's got to have close to eight rebounds so far. It's going to Thacker over there. Uh, defense finally closing out on him, not giving him the easy look. Not so sure it would have worked out that well if the uh, pass had been crisper. Thacker calling for it again out of the three-point line. Rolls through his hands. Drive the basket. Sweet little reverse, and it doesn't fall. Rebound to Sochu. Another chance to cut this thing. One second left. And that is the end of the second quarter here. 28-16. to 16. You know, much better effort out of the second quarter. Roswell Bombers managed nine in the quarter and held uh, held triple-double to two, only ten points. So They stopped triple-double from fast breaking. Fat early in the first quarter, besides Thacker knocking down threes from the left side and the right side and hitting a little floaters, triple-double was scoring off of fast breaks. And Roswell Bombers contained them to how many, uh, what, two, two to four points in the second quarter? off of fast breaks, if they can limit their fast break opportunities, convert their free throws and get the ball to the big man, Roswell could, could get into, back into this game pretty quickly. Yeah, Rod, uh, so far we have uh, leading scorers. We've got Thacker for triple-double with 10. He's made two three-pointers. We've got Underwood with seven and uh, a couple other players in the books. Bell with two, Kerouac with one, Jones with three. One for Haynes and uh, two for Cunningham. Roswell Bombers so far being led by Sochu. He's got six. Uh, Pittman, he's got five. Pittman's really been the primary ball handler and attacker in the offense. And uh, we're going to need to see more out of him. He's had a lot of good looks. He's getting harassed at the at, at and above the three-point line. But he's, he's found his way to get opportunities. He's a key player for them. And, and we need to see more out of him in the second half. They're going to yeah, keep this he, close. He's got the physical ability to get to the rim against a bigger team. Uh, he can shoot the three. Uh, he's going to just need to become more aggressive mentally in the second half. It looks like he's kind of dishing off at the top of the key. Um, they are throwing two, two guards at him, and he's giving up the ball way too early. Uh, but he does have the ability to, to get to the rim, knock down the J, hit down the floaters. I just think Coach Kranz has to run a little bit more ball screens for him up top. Uh, and they do need to swing the ball because when the ball stays on one side against triple-double, they will lock you down defensively. That's that's their bread and butter for them. Triple-double leading the Roswell Bombers 28-16 to 16 here at the half. We've got a championship. It's really kind of a triple-double day today, uh, Z, because their eighth grade team plays in the championship right after this game. Um, and we will be live for that eighth grade championship. Tune back in. We'll also have the high school championship at 4 o'clock. Short halftime, and away we go. 28-16, to 16, triple double in white, leading the Roswell Bombers in black. I'm going to get the uh, throw in here by Jensen right in front of uh, our table here. It's going to be Underwood setting up the offense now. Thacker getting a little breather to start the second half. 
Ball rotates to the corner. Nice drive along oh, the baseline. Nice. Kicks to Underwood. Underwood for three. Off the front rim, it doesn't fall. And we got another foul call on uh, Cunningham. We are not keeping the fouls over here, but He's second, gotta, maybe third at this point. His third one. I tell you what, though, although he got a foul on that one, Z, I love his aggressiveness. Every ball that goes up, he attacks the boards to go get that. Triple double right back into that press. Knocks the ball away as Jensen and uh, Underwood can't save it. But that press was, was vicious in the first quarter and led to a big 18 to 7 lead to start the game. And. Uh, well, I expect we'll see a little bit more out of that out of Coach Thacker from Triple Double. Trying to work there the ball go. inside to Porter. We've been waiting for this all game, especially oh. with Cunningham in trouble. Sochu didn't see it coming, and it's a turnover. It looked like it was the beginning of a pretty nice executed play. The problem is the, re the receiver wasn't looking for the pass. No, no. So uh, Porter um, getting good looks when he gets it. Like to see him inside, uh, getting the ball up in that high post. You said it earlier. Uh, they went to it right away to start the half. We'll see if they get something going. Pittman with the foul over there on Jensen. Tried to knock the ball away. That's the first foul this half. 28 to 16, 624 remaining in this game. Triple double in white facing the Roswell Bombers for the sixth grade championship from the Georgia Hoops Invitational. Nice Cunningham pass. inside. Can't get the bunny to fall. He's go. having this a rough night around the rim today. Is. This is what they need to do. They need to get out and run. They need Turn to over there. Run and yep. do not let triple double set up, set up in their defense. It was a pretty move by Underwood. Dropped the ball off to Cunningham, who wasn't able to finish that one. Uh, but he's getting great looks at the basket, and I expect his points will fall. He just uh, hasn't been able to get those close ones in. They'll start falling for the big fella. They'll start falling. Oh, that's a good pass. That's a good pass. Shots up and away. Underwood attacking the defense. Nice little move wow. there, and that's a bucket. With the left, not very many sixth graders who are right-handed will use their left hand as nice as Underwood. Nice play by Underwood there. That's got a good chance, uh, Mr. Coleman, of making our uh, top plays of the weekend. That's nice. I marked it down in the book. We'll have to take another look <laughs> and see what the shot looks like. Passes up the three-pointer, oh, drives the basket. Drive. Pretty drive. move for Hopper, and that's his uh, third point of the game. Harper is that slasher-type ball player where he could get to the rim against anybody. Offense working through Underwood again with uh, Thacker getting a little breather. Up top to Jensen. Jensen fires from three. Not going to fall. Rebound, Rebound goes to Porter. they got to look to run here. 30 to 18, another chance to get it down to 10 or, or inside, down to single digits, and these are going to be a critical one. Pittman fires for three. Oh, just rolls out. Underwood's going to force the break again. He's got, oh, throws it away. Pittman with the steal. He's got numbers up ahead if he looks up. Works the ball into the corner to James. James driving the baseline. Nice inside nice to Hopper, and Hopper gets it to fall, and we, we got, got a 10 point game. We got a 10 point game here, Z. It's we exciting now. Game. Thacker at the table waiting to check in. Coach Thacker not calling timeout to get him in there. Going to let him run it out here a little bit. Drives the basket. Gets a little bit of a bailout by the referees. He left his feet without a really a heck of a good plan there was Mullis. Uh, but he'll go to the free throw line nonetheless. 30 to 20 with 440 remaining here in the third quarter. That's where the, uh, these young kids need to learn. Take that charge. Take the charge. You take that charge. Step up. Take the charge. Even if they call a block. The next time the offensive player has the ball, he's going to be thinking in his head that kid's going to be trying to take a charge. First free throw up, and it is good. Should be 31-20. 440 remaining here, triple-double in white in the sixth grade championship, and that's both free throws good for Mullis. Triple-double sets up their press. Thacker back into the game, and he traveled. That's tough. Ooh. That's tough. That's tough. Not a lot of slack on that one from the referees. No, no, none at all. None at all. I was watching the ball, not his feet, so maybe I missed it. Swings back up top to Thacker. Thacker working around a Mullis. Working this dribble handoff here. Let's see what it goes for. Thacker passed up the opportunity at the three there. Didn't have the quick trigger. Drives. Mid-range was open. Didn't want that one either. Thacker must be looking to distribute here in the second half. Yeah. <laughs> passed up did. two opportunities that I would have expected him to take. He made uh, all four of his shots in the first half. Oh, good ball movement. Jensen fires. No good. Mullis tries to save it. Oh. Right to Kerouac. Little bit of good luck. Kerouac throws it up, and it's not going to fall. 
Fans wanted a foul. We are hearing it from the uh, sideline there. Turn it over in the corner for Kerouac. Every call, 50% love it, 50% hate it. <laughs> yeah, thankless job, that refereeing. Uh, Thacker, tightly guarded, well above the three-point line. Throws it away to James. James going to try to get it out. He's got Pittman on the left wing if he wants him. Pittman sets it up, fakes the three. Drives the basket, beautiful spin nice move. move. Oh, not able to get it to fall. You gotta Rebound. Convert you gotta convert those. See, if you want to oh. get back in this game, you have to convert those. Another steal, game's getting a little bit sloppy. Who Hopper trying to work it inside. Nah, you can't come back in bounds there. <laughs> yeah, once you're out of bounds, you can't touch the ball. 32 to 20, 327 remaining, and that's a timeout, triple-double Thacker. I think he needs to get him calmed down. They've had a couple of turnovers, some tough shots there, and it's time for uh, time for a timeout and get the boys settled here. And I think Coach Thacker's not real pleased with the way his team is playing uh, since the first few minutes of the ball game. Uh, his, his defensive pressure has been kind of lax. They stopped executing. Um, we got 32 to 20 with 327 remaining in this sixth grade championship of the Halftime Sports Georgia Hoops Invitational. Thank you for joining us here on Sportal Space. Sportal Space connects communities through youth sports. Check us out on our website. You can find other tournaments that we will be participating in. We'll certainly be back out again on uh, Easter weekend, Friday Easter and weekend. Saturday of Easter weekend here with Halftime Sports. We will not be playing on that Sunday. Sunday will be off, <laughs> as it should. And you can find uh, gym and field space for practice on the Sportal Space website. Search, uh, search sportalspace.com. And we'll have all kinds of recaps from this tournament available on our website. You'll see... Uh, tournament recaps of every championship game. There's a tremendous amount of social media coverage that was done here. And you will also see the replays of this 6th grade, 8th grade, and high school championship game along with a top 10 highlight video. So stay tuned. Keep your eyes peeled for the Sportal Space YouTube channel. I can't wait to see the top 10 highlight video. I was I'm perusing excited. candidates this morning, I'm and excited. I've got a list of five so far. Right, we had can't. a beautiful play by Underwood with 555 remaining here in the third. We'll see if that makes it into the top 10. Working it inside to Kerouac. Kerouac out to Underwood. Beautiful inside look. Inside out. That and that is his offense. fifth point of the quarter, 35 to 20. Beautiful. Underwood, been leading leading scorer now. And Underwood with a steal right on cue. Oh, Drive, oh. a pretty move, but oh, he can't get it to fall. Oh, and Beautiful. it goes right back to him. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, right into his hands. Underwood, million dollar shot, five. Million dollar move, five dollar shot. <laughs> hey, it was a pretty move behind the back there. Couldn't quite get the ball to fall. We're not going to fault him too much. He is the leading scorer in the game with 12. <laughs> 35 to 22, 44 remaining. Triple double setting up this press again. I guess you'd call this a 3 1 1. Not something I've seen in a lot of playbooks, but it's I like a, it. It's, it's been working. It's been putting a lot of pressure. It's a 3 1 1 diamond type press. What? The Roswell Bombers need to do is they, they need this in Porter down the middle. And right as you said, go. Coach KC, you called it. Porter down the middle. Well, not able to do it. And that's a jump ball forced by who else? Underwood. Underwood. Underwood's been all over the place this second half. He leads to all scores with five and a half and uh, multiple steals, creating the action and making it happen. It was all Thacker in the first half. It's been Underwood uh, here in the third quarter. Underwood is that, that versatile player that does everything for you. He shoots, he scores, he rebounds, he plays defense, he passes the ball. Just, just a multi-talented young man. Underwood driving, kicking, three-pointer up and away, and it's no good. Offensive rebound for Underwood, and he will go to the free throw line. That was Jones with the three. Didn't get it to fall, but Underwood was right there to pick up the, uh, the scraps. He does everything. Offensive rebounds, boxes out, passes, shoots. Underwood and Thacker were their leading scorers pretty much the whole weekend, and that continues here in the championship game. Underwood's first free throw is up and away, and it's good. That is his third free throw. He's made them all. I hope I haven't just jinxed the poor, poor boy. <laughs> I think he may have. Here Let's we go. See. Fourth Let's free see. throw for him of the night. Up and away. You and nope, you I could not see. stop him. He has seven <laughs> in the quarter, and they've opened this lead up to 17. It was 28-16 at the break, 12-point lead. We saw them flirting, got it down to 10 points, and then ever since then, uh, Bombers have really struggled to score. They've only managed four points so far this quarter, all from Hopper. Yeah, and that's, and that's tough because – Got to see Pittman and Porter go to work. And that is a steal. Kerouac with the brass break. Fast break in. Wow. It's good. Look at the big fella. The big fella with the steal and the score. And I'm going to get that one uh, in the books as a possible top play nominee as well. Kerouac at 2.09 remaining in the third. The big fella showing his speed and versatility out here, Z. 
I like it. I like it. That is Kerouac. Fifth point of the night. Three-pointer, and it's not going to fall. Thacker on the break. It's going to pull up here for three. Stop and pop. Oh, not quite there. Didn't quite have his legs under him on that one. Good rebound. Substitutions coming in. Again, triple-double sets up in this diamond press. Porter's got to be more active in here. Yeah, I think Porter can take this entry pass, but he's got to look for the guards. You said it earlier. Double team, tried to get the ball to Pittman. No good. Three-pointer up and away. It's no good. Triple-double just seems to be overpowering him here now. Up 39-20. to 20. Underwood from the corner. No good. Good rebound, Pittman. Now he's got to look up. He's got to see the court. He's got to see the court. Pittman's going to take it himself. And a lot of contact. They're going to call the block. That's a block. I think if we were in a college arena, he may have he, he may have lined up inside the circle. I think that's what the referee saw. Fair enough. We'll accept it. <laughs> we got 39 to 20, 134 remaining. Uh, triple double just seems to have more gas in the tank. They're running. They're getting out in the break. They're getting multiple offensive rebound chances. And uh, Roswell Bombers just seem to be uh, not enough uh, depth to really stay in this one here. Pittman gets the first free throw to fall. You got to applaud the kid for even attempting to take a charge. Absolute we don't love. see that much at the sixth grade level. No. Thacker right back into Absolute the game love. here. Oops, sorry, check that. That is Jensen coming into the game. Second free throw up and away for Pittman. Front rim, no good. Offensive rebound, Kerouac. Kerouac's had a really good, uh, really good half here. Been very active on the offensive and defensive end. Underwood. Works it around to Jensen. Jensen inside to Kerouac. Oh, Kerouac nice puts it on the floor. Nothing doing. Back up top. Got Jensen in the corner. Being harassed by Sochu. Oh, nice pass. Nice pass inside to Kerouac. Kerouac can't get that one to fall. It's a good rebound by Porter. I like the feed, though. Feed yes. the big man inside. He's uh, doesn't have the size advantage. Ball. I think we're going to call a jump ball there. Ball. Pretty defensive play by Underwood, who's really dominated this half. Again, see, this kid just does everything. He plays defense. He boxes out. He passes. He shoots. He, uh, and now he's going to be bringing the ball up the court against the Roswell Bombers press. The Bombers setting back up this press. It was effective a little bit in the second quarter for them. I've been surprised they haven't done it. I think they just don't have the uh, depth with only eight players in this tournament this weekend. Roswell's coach told me they had a couple of kids out at, uh, at, fall ba at uh, spring baseball today, so they didn't have their full complement. Three-pointer away, and no good front rim, and it's going to go Roswell Bombers. 39-21 with 48 seconds remaining in the third quarter here. Triple-double keeping that press on. They are not going to let up. Ball is bouncing around in the air. Who wants it? It is going to be Bell. Bell pushing the ball in transition. He's got Jensen. Jensen back Underwood. to Underwood. Underwood for three. Won't fall, but good Bell rebound. keeps battling. Good rebound. Kicks it around. Mid-range won't go. Another offensive rebound. Triple-double just dominating the boards. And uh, it's leading to just far too many second chance opportunities for them. Up 39-21 with 25 seconds remaining here in the third. Like you said, way too many second chance opportunities for Triple Double. You cannot give a team with that that's that talented with that many second opportunities. Underwood between the legs, drives a little, kicks to Jensen. Jensen, three ball away, no good. Ball bouncing around, who wants it more? It's gonna be Thomas coming out on the break. Thomas with nice. the bucket and that's one. Nice left hand layup right there. This kid is playing with all heart, all heart. I like him. I like him a lot. Thomas fights for the re loose ball rebound, takes it the length of the court, goes up strong, gets the bucket and one, and a possible top 10 play nominee I right like there. It. See, might have to put that one in. It's on the books. We will be evaluating. Three point play. Always feels better nice. when they get that extra bucket to go. 39, 24, 11 seconds remaining here, 10 seconds left. Oh, Underwood right driving, there. scoops it, and not going to go. Six seconds remaining, he'll go to the free throw line. That's his second little scoop play, something he obviously works on somewhere. Again, this kid can go left, he can go right, he can shoot from the three-point line. He can go underneath you with the scoop shot. Easy. Seems to get him to the free throw line. Nearly another and one opportunity. Underwood's first free throw is up oh, and okay. away. That is first miss free throw. That's his first miss. He's hit his first four free throws, four or five so far. Uh, leading scorer here in the game with 14. And oh, missed them both. both. Wow. Kerouac battling underneath. 
You got five seconds, so we have a five second play here. We'll see what uh, Coach Krantz can draw up for the Bombers. Triple double in their press though. Better be careful here if you get sloppy. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Not gonna get up. the shot away. Don't think it's gonna count. And that is 39 to 24 at the end of the fourth and the sixth grade championship game on Championship Sunday at the Georgia Hoops Invitational. Halftime Sports brought to you by Sportal Space today live on YouTube. Hope you're enjoying this at home. Seven minutes left to decide the sixth grade championship. KC, if they're going to get back in it, what is Roswell Bombers going to do to make up a 15-point difference? Who out here can carry the team that way? Well, first of all, they're going to have to pick up full court. Uh, looks like Coach Kranz has him in a 2-2-1 type setup. It's got to be more of a trapping type defense. They're going to have to disrupt Triple Double's half-court offense and actually not let them get into their half-court offense and really just start attacking the basket. They need Pittman and Harper to start attacking the basket, hopefully getting some and ones um, and maybe even a couple of threes. But they're really going to have to start being aggressive on the defensive end, and hopefully their best offense will be their defense in the fourth quarter here. Pittman's going to have to step up. Harper, if he hits that three, they're right in it. Oh, oh that's a tough one. That, that was Thomas one. with the missed three. He really needed that one to fall. Going the other way. Two-pointer, no good. Cunningham battling. Bounces the ball to his teammate. Mullis. Mullis is going to let it fly from three. Not going to go. Cunningham, yet another offensive rebound. Cunningham with a turnaround jumper, and it doesn't fall. But uh, he has been a beast on the boards. Cunningham is doing a job, a fantastic job. Half a dozen Last. offensive rebounds here Easily. so far for uh, Cunningham. Has not been able to connect from the field, uh, but made both of his free throws earlier. Missed that one there. You can see as this kid continues to develop his skill set with his size, with his frame, he's got a real opportunity to make an impact out here. He's going to be a beast. He's going to be a beast. He just needs to keep playing more and more basketball. That's a good rebound. That's a real good reason. That's a big Ball's reason. moving up the floor here. It's Hopper. Hopper gets in trouble. Runs into the big man, oh. Cunningham, and we're going the opposite direction. Thacker's going to push it in transition. Oh, blocked by Porter. No. And we're going back in transition the other way. Two-pointer up and away. No good for Thomas. It's a track meet now, Brian. It's a track meet. Oh, good crossover. Nice cross, couldn't finish it. Cunningham keeps it alive again. Another offensive opportunity created by Cunningham. You cannot give good teams like triple double second and third opportunities. Nice little runner in the lane for Haynes and he is on the books. Closer. Steal. Triple double inside. A oh. little bit of a wild shot doesn't fall. <laughs> Hopper going the other way. Sorry, Thomas going the other way. Number 11 taking it up the left wing. Works the ball around to James. Turns it over. Thacker up ahead. It's Mullis. And it's in. That's a good shot right there. That's a great shot. And they go right back into their 3-2 their zone defense. He's got to attack the big man here. He's got to attack it. That's a good move. That's a nice good move. take by Porter, and he is in the books. That's his That's, first field goal. 43-26 with 5.16 left. This thing's turned into, as you said, a track meet. Cunningham working under the basket. Can't get it to fall. They need to get the ball to Porter more. Let him start attacking the big man. Ball working around. Pittman like with the three-pointer. They need a couple more of those. They need a couple more defensive stops, see, to get back Yeah, into Coach Thacker game. wisely slowing it down. No need to run up and down the floor with him, especially when you can just stand there and knock down three-pointers, and that was Jones with right the three. There. That's a tough one. Pushing the ball ahead is Thomas. Thomas to Porter. Porter right Good around move. Cunningham. Scoop shot, Good and it doesn't move. fall. 46-29 with 435 remaining. All that action, all that excitement, and <laughs> they're still down. 17. They're still down 17. They have uh, really not able to cut into this lead. <laughs> Triple double, just too fundamentally sound, able to score at all levels on the basketball court, creating uh, creating offense from their defense and uh, knocking down shots. They've had triple after triple for triple double tonight. Well, the, the good thing for this for the Roswell Bombers is early. This is an early season tournament for all the teams, so Coach Krantz and his staff can go back to the drawing board figure out what they need to do to get better and improve throughout the season here. 
435 remaining in this fourth period, 46 to 29. Triple double and white leading the Roswell Bombers in black. Second free throw up and away for Porter, and it's no good. Triple double doesn't seem to be in any mood to slow this thing down. Okay, we'll let's see if they go back into their patent to dribble handoff. It's been uh, their core motion offense been working for them all night. Drives the basket. Oh. Nice little step through move, nice. and that's Mullis. Mullis with his fourth nice. point of the quarter. And then he gets right up into Pittman defensively. Pittman throws ahead. Brady. Working inside to Porter. Ooh, almost a block by Cunningham, but he gets the foul call. That's tough. That's a tough call. Tough call. But I do like the way Porter is playing in this fourth quarter. He's being much more aggressive on the, on the offensive end, attacking the basket. He's getting more rebounds on the defensive end. He's getting to the line more. Looks like Cunningham's going to take a seat here uh, with a little bit of foul trouble. We don't have the foul count, but he's got to have three or four. Not really going to make a big difference with 409 remaining. Kerouac, one of the uh, energy guys, came in, gave him really good minutes there in the, uh, in the third quarter and had himself a beautiful little highlight play going coast to coast off of steel. What Porter with the bucket. What a luxury to have a kid with that size and that energy coming off your bench. He's coming off your bench here, Z. Yeah, this team is deep. 48 to 30, 409 remaining. Triple double in white with the ball. And Roswell, Bombers in black, oh, trailing. Double screen by the Thacker the drives, kicks. Working it around. Thacker wants it in the corner for the three. No good. Kerouac, a little bit over the back, but they didn't call it. Inside shot, won't fall. He's got Thacker on the right wing if he sees him. Mullis going to take it himself. Going against the oh. double team. They're going to call the foul on Pittman. I tell you, that kid Mullis goes to the hole hard. He uh, he put his head down, and he knew where he was trying to get to. He had two players open, one trailing and one on the right wing, but he said, I'm going to do it myself. He was determined. He was absolutely determined. First free throw up and away, and it's good. Mullis has five in the quarter and seven overall on the night. He's done all his work in the second half. He's a good little left-hand shooter. Good good stroke. That makes more sense now with this hole taking it up the left side against the double team. <laughs> <laughs> we did not have that on our stats and information sheet when the game started. You never know what you're going to get at the middle school hoops level. Second free throw up and away, and it's good. He's got eight, six in this quarter to pace the triple-double team. There you are up by 20 now, 50 to 30. Time is ticking away. 3.42 remaining in this championship game. Triple-double oh. not going to let up oh. with their press. Right ahead to Thacker. And an they, easy bucket. They just keep coming after you. They do not let up. Yeah, uh, Coach Thacker for triple-double pulls him back into the half-court set. I don't think it's going to be enough. Three-pointer fired up and away. Oh, good steal. Good steal. That's good hustle. That is excellent hustle. I tell you what, again. we're going to narrate it here. It looks like we've had a little video trouble. We're trying to figure it out, but it is 54 to 30 with three minutes remaining. This is not a mercy rule on the uh, video. It is a video snafu. <laughs> we apologize to you at home. Shot up and away here oh, for rebound. Thomas. No good. Foul on triple double. Well, again, this is a very it's an early season tournament for both teams, but this does help the Roswell Bombers, who are a very good team. It helps them prepare for forthcoming tournaments that they're going to be in. Ball working its way around up top. We got Hopper trying to make something happen. Hopper fires for a long three. No good. Rebound to Bell. Bell up ahead to Jensen. Jensen takes it in, and he is fouled underneath the basket. Two thirty-five remaining here, fifty-four to thirty. Jensen at the free throw line, shooting the first to two. First free throw up and away, and it's no good for Jensen. Jensen looking for his first points here of the game as we wind down this sixth grade championship, and he does get on the board. Jensen with the free throw. Another thing, if you if you pay close attention, you can hear the triple double team talking on defense something that's very rare very rare even at the high school level look the kids he's got ball he's got helping call left help left help right 
Beautiful, beautiful communication. By yeah, well coached, disciplined on both offensive and defensive side. I've liked this little dribble handoff motion offense they've been running all night. And it's been real effective. It's given them a big lead here, 55 to 30. Clock's running with two minutes remaining here in the ball game. And it looks like uh, number 12, Sherman, going to step to the free throw line. Sherman looking for his first points of the night here. First free throw up, and it is no good. And they're still running. They're still <laughs> I running. think they're going to hold it up a little they're bit here. Running. No, Underwood uh, takes a look at it from three. Cunningham looking to get himself a field goal. Nice little drop is. step move. There it and is. that time he there was not going to be denied. I can guarantee you this. By, time, by the time May rolls around, that kid's going to be very polished. He is yeah. so raw right now. He's Zero. gotten great looks at the basket. Point blank opportunities. It's 57 to 30 now. 120 remaining. This was a close game at half. KC was 28-16. Got down to 12, 10 points in the third quarter and triple double just turned on the gas and blew them out of the gym. Yeah, their their pressure defense um, really separated the teams um, early in the third quarter. Yeah, and, and like we said earlier, Roswell had plenty of opportunities late in the second quarter to cut the game within 10, uh, but just couldn't convert on those those putbacks or layups. Yeah, that's fifth foul on Cunningham. He has fouled out, uh, but a real nice game. Only six points, but close to a dozen rebounds, half of them at least on the offensive side. I like uh, him. I like him a lot. Yeah, real aggressive game from him and, uh, and impacted in a number of ways. First free throw is up and away, and it is good for Hopper. Cuts the lead to 57-31. Sixth grade championship going to go to triple-double. Triple-double has been a beast in this tournament. We're going to see them as well in the eighth grade championship coming up next year. And the going address. live in 245 with the eighth grade championship. Who are we going to see against triple-double in that one? The eighth grade championship is going to be uh, I think it's Reach Higher Kings, right? No, it's uh, Lights Out Ballers. Lights, Lights Out Ballers. Out Ballers. Retire Kings. Well, there you go. Shows them. you what I know. Seven seconds remaining here as Triple Double looks to dribble this thing out. And this game will end. Triple Double with the win, 57-32. Just give you a quick game recap. Leading scorers for Triple Double tonight. Underwood with 14 points. Thacker with a dozen Cunningham, six points and all the work on the boards. Pittman looks like leading scorer here, eight, nine, nine points for Roswell Bombers. And uh, also Sochu scored early, had six points all in the first half uh, to pace the Roswell Bombers. It's been a great sixth grade championship. We're going to uh, go live on a separate link for the eighth grade. This will be available for replay. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone you know. You can watch this sixth grade championship on the Sportles Bay, the YouTube channel, for the rest of time or until YouTube stops making it available. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. This is Sportle Space. And Halftime Sports signing off for the 6th grade championship, 8th grade championship coming to you live in about 12 minutes. <laughs>